Hey, good morning, Morganfield First Baptist Church. What a wonderful day for us to be here together to worship. Uh, I can't tell you what the weather's going to be like, but it really doesn't matter because we're here to worship the one, the Savior, that's taking care of us. September the 9th, a lift meeting. Uh, meeting starts at 6 o'clock here at church. Wednesday night, September the 15th, is the beginning of our regular Wednesday night meetings again. And uh, be here at 5.30 for a meal. And, and it's not just for the kids, it's for everybody. Parents and, and adults alike, guardians, uh, come join us. Also, uh, Cole uh, is going to start the book of Job uh, on Wednesday night. Uh, and who, of us, who, have, who has not ever felt like Job? Mm. Good lesson uh, to be uh, listened to. It starts at 6 o'clock, so come and join us. Well, September 18th, uh, we're going to be going to Henderson. Uh, hopefully it's warm enough yet by that time that the kids will want to run through that, those water, you know, the little water chutes mm -hmm. there at the park. We're going to hang out there. Uh, we're going to leave here about 11 o'clock that morning. Uh, bring about ten dollars uh, for lunch, where we may decide to eat. So that's uh, September eighteenth. Then on October second through the fourth, that is a, uh, a Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. They're off school that that uh, week um, for fall break. We're going to be going to Camp Basic. Um, I, Jim's been there before. Mm -hmm. I think a couple times. Cook with this is one of the things that the kids really love. We it's our youth group mm -hmm. just getting together. And uh, we go down and uh, we have uh, four different sessions on a topic. Uh, this year it's going to be, I'm not falling for it. We're going to look at uh, what it means to be an apologist, uh, to defend our own faith, and also look at a couple of mainstream cults um, to know the difference between what they believe about Jesus, the Holy Spirit, God, and heaven, and other things, and what the Bible teaches. So we're going to be looking at those issues uh, this year. Yeah, that was the, the cool place with the creek. Yes. And I enjoyed cooking yeah. for the students on that weekend. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I do. It was, a, it was an awesome time. It's October 16th. We're going to KOA Campground. Um, that's up in Illinois. Uh, they have an ice cream uh, parlor. They have a big playground. They also have a putt-putt. So we're just going to go and see what's like. I'm going to recommend they take about 8 to $12 for the miniature golf, depending on how many holes they want to shoot, and about $12 for food. So that's October 16th. We're going to leave at 9 in the morning. Judgment House down in Princeton, Kentucky. Um, that's uh, Sunday. That's a Sunday. It's the last day they're going to be doing this. What Judgment House is, it's a drama. We go room to room uh, and see that. Uh, our kids love it. Go ahead. So can anybody go with, with you on it besides the youth? I mean, do you need some chaperones? We may need one or two. Uh, okay. We'll just see. You know, if, uh, if, I've never been. I think Believe I just, it or not, I've never been. I think I just may have gotten a chaperone. So, Jimmy, you are officially invited to go with us, okay? Right, thank you. I, I, and here's the thing that you'll love, and, and Becca likes this too. Uh, we always stop afterwards at Polly Eyes for pizza. Absolutely. It's great to eat. So, uh, great day. Uh, we have actually had one or two uh, young people over the years make their profession of faith known at that event. So, I just I love the fact that it challenges us to think about, are you ready for eternity? Oh, awesome, awesome. Yeah. Hey, on a personal note before we end our announcements, uh, me and Andrew like to personally thank everybody who said prayers for us while I was fighting with COVID. Uh, it was tough, and I'll, I'll be honest with you. Uh, you know, after my testimony, I, I, I'm just going to tell you, I, I thought it was over just for the fact that I thought God was done using. One night, I, I felt it had to be somebody's prayer because all of a sudden, my lungs cleared up. I mean, it, it, I certainly wasn't that fudge sickle I was eating when that happened. I promise you, it just, uh, and from that point on, everything has gotten better and better and better. And, and I really like to, 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 to thank everybody. And, and, you know, for a man, or at least for me, uh, you know, I stepped up and I volunteered to do the cook for the praise in the park. And it was very obvious I wasn't going to be able to, to hold up my end of the bargain. And, you know, you sit at home and you start dabbling with uh, depression a little bit. I, I, you know, I'm doing this. I'm responsible. I'm supposed to get this done. Mm -hmm. Instead of letting God say, look, let me show you what I can got do for you. And uh, it took me going to the park and watching Steve Quinn and Todd Willett and Ryan uh, McBride and, and Jimmy Sturtz in there cooking, had everything handled. And, and I don't know who else helped them get that together, but I appreciate you too. But I realized God was showing me, hey, we got things handled. You may have volunteered, but we got things handled. Uh, and we want you to feel the blessings. And sometimes it's hard for us to sit back and feel those blessings. And, but uh, I want to thank everybody. I, truly, from the bottom of my heart, um, I felt it all the prayers, the phone calls, and, and, and me and Andrew have been truly blessed even through all this. Mm -hmm. So, but thank you so much. And we're here to worship. And so uh, let's worship Jesus Christ this morning. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? Did you know, um, Jim, is it just me or is... There's just a lot of um, testosterone in the room today. Oh, absolutely, it, it really is. It's it's quieter. A whole lot it's, more serious. Yes, here it too. is. I, there's something. What? <laughs> there's something different about this. What's what's different mm -hmm. today than? Hmm. Becca. Who? Becca. Becca. Who? Becca. 
Oh, that one, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah I remember her. I, yeah, I vaguely remember. She used to do this, didn't she, for she a while? She used to do this, okay, yeah. Well, she, just, she just didn't even show up today. I know. So now you've got the men, as always, carrying. Mm -hmm. I better, I, you know, I'm going to shut up because I'm going to get in trouble on that one. <laughs>